Last week, we took you to Alabama Hills, a hidden gem, Lone Pine, a Western film location mecca, and up Whitney Portal Road that leads to Mount Whitney, the highest mountain in the lower 48. This week, we're in Nevada. Red Rock Canyon is 17 miles from the Las Vegas Strip. This national conservation area is quite a contrast from a town geared to entertainment and gaming. It includes a 13-mile scenic drive and miles of hiking trails. Valley of Fire was designated Nevada's first state park in 1935. Yikes, stop, there's bighorn sheep. Valley of Fire is a brilliant, colorful park about an hour from Las Vegas. It's filled with panoramic views, hiking trails, petroglyphs, and scenic drives. We couldn't wait to hike the Fire Wave Trail. It's a one and a half mile hike out and back with amazing sandstone formations. The slick rock resembles an ocean wave with swirling patterns of red, white, yellow, and pink. As we were hiking, we looked up and across our path ran a bighorn sheep. It was amazing. It made our day. Firewave Trail was a fantastic hike and experience. Our next stop, White Dome Loop Trail. This loop was so diverse, a steep trail leading to spectacular scenery and brilliant colors of rocks, a historic movie site, a slot canyon, and arches. Of all the hikes we have done, this is one of our favorites. It's not to be missed. This hike was designated easy to moderate. We're not sure who determined this, but it felt more like moderate to strenuous, yet well worth it.
These cabins were built by the CCC in the 1930s to shelter weary travelers. Last stop, a glimpse at ancient petroglyphs. This was only one day at Valley of Fire. We saw a lot, but there's so much more to see. Next stop, Giada, our favorite restaurant in Las Vegas. What a delicious ending to our stay in Nevada. <laughs> 